Welcome back, everyone. You're watching the Pink Raven Tarot. I'm your host, Kendall Wallace, and I am what? That bitch. Um, before I get into this reading, um, let me just say a couple things. Some of y'all been saying some like some shit towards me in the comments. And let me just say this. If you don't got nothing nice to say, keep your fucking mouth shut. Or if you don't like how I read or if you think I'm wrong about stuff, don't watch my channel. Don't watch people's stuff with the intention to cause harm or to look down on someone. If you if that's who you are, then don't get on YouTube. I'm not going to disable the comments because bitch, I ain't scared of no bitch. And if you and if you put, try to put something on me, just know that that's not going to work because I had a little not issue, but someone tried me spiritually. And let's just say I'm very well protected and I'm with the shits. So with that being said, um. <laughs> I'm doing a requested reading on, a short little reading on Selena Gomez and The Weeknd. Somebody wants to know if they're going to get back together. Um, Y'all usually know that I ask about people's general energy I've never read on before, but I've already read on Selena Gomez, so I didn't do that. So I just got right into it. So this is what she got for um, what they got, <laughs> if they're if they ever going to get back together. Number one, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles is about family, like legacy, like your name. I'm getting more so like the name, like a career, because they're both in the entertainment industry. So I'm getting that, but it's in reverse. So being together, I don't think it's a good look for... Or she feels like it's not a good look for her. And you were like, what? It's not a good look? Welcome to um, Hollywood. The, a lot of them, they date for their careers. Like, they don't be in love or, like, be really interested in each other. Like, they do it. Like, their fucking publicists be hooking them up and shit. So this was, like, a... I'm getting this is a career... A career type of um, relationship. I'm not saying that it's not real, but I'm saying, like, they were together... For, they were put together. Let's say that. I feel like it was more so him. She, I don't think she really gives a fuck. The Ace of Pentacles. There might... There could be... What do you call it? A silver lining... I don't think she, I don't feel like she's on her radar, but if he play his cards right, a big opportunity might come through. Ace of Pentacles is about a big ass opportunity. Look at that hand holding that Pentacles. The Pentacles, yes, it's about money, but it's also about value too. So there's a, it's, it's in the cards, it's a possibility. The Eight of Wands, but she's waiting on a message. The Eight of Wands speaks about receiving a message. And then see how she's going? You know Monopoly, the motorcycle, when it passes, going shit? She's waiting to get a message from him or from the universe or whatever, a sign, I should say. Um, and then she might go ahead and give it the, the okay to go ahead. But I feel like, not message, but actually like a message, like text message. He might try to hit her up. You'd be like, oh, how you doing? Just to see how things are going and then try to slide up in there that way. The Two of Wands. Exactly. The Two of Wands is about planning. This is her. Look at her. She's not looking at her phone. I, like I said, I don't feel like she's really, like, looking. Like, she's on, like, he's not on her radar. But she would have to, like, sit down and actually, like, okay, like, I'm trying to get this nigga. But she, is, she don't really give a fuck. Look at the images. Her face is not on the phone. She's looking at the off the water. She's probably looking at just... <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, not really, but you know, I'm just joking. The five of cups. There's some regrets when that connection they had, and it's coming from her. She has some type of regrets. I don't think she really loved him like that. Maybe she, I'm getting the sense that she kind of played with him or made him feel like she really was into him, but she really wasn't. And she feels, she feels some regret about that. Like, damn, I shouldn't have did that shit. Was, was he a rebound fuck? Because The weekend was after Justin, right? So I think she used him, like, as a rebound. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Someone told her, like, oh, y'all probably would be a good couple of some shit. And then that's probably why she did it in the first place. But it wasn't really good for her her image. And if you think I'm lying about that shit, that image, look at Chris Evans. He dated some actress or some shit. She talked about it. And, like, she said it was weird. Like, I forgot her name. But y'all gonna figure it out. The Nine of Cups in reverse. Exactly. Unsatisfaction. The Nine of Cups is about complete satisfaction. Look at all those cups. The cups are your emotions, your feelings. But it was reversed. So that means unsatisfaction. That, that relationship didn't fulfill her. Because that's what I said. It gave what it was supposed to give. It was a rebound fuck type of thing. 
But you never know. I know someone who, um, she's married with kids to a rebound. So, but as of right now, now the seven of wands, she's too defensive. She's very defensive. I'm getting the feeling that, um, you know, sometimes when you tell people they're wrong, they get upset or they don't like it. I'm getting the sense that she's one of them types. But she don't like to be wrong. And I feel like that probably annoyed the fuck out of him. But not enough to not want her back or not fuck her. And then finally, the King of Swords. This is, um, I'm getting that this is his energy. And I'm pretty sure he's an Aquarius, I believe. Um, swords are air signs, Aquariuses, Libras, and Geminis. So I believe he's an Aquarius. So spirits tell me that this is him. We're talking about him. And I, this, I'm also feeling that it's more so him that wants to get back with her. But like I said, she really don't give a fuck, y'all. Look how she's looking at the water, at her options. He's not even on her radar right now. And what's at the bottom of the deck? The Queen of Pentacles. She love herself too much. Or she's not, not love herself too much, but she's, she's focused more so on herself. I should say that. Remember I said the pentacles is about money, but it's also about value. And the queen of pentacles, especially for me, when I read cards, talks about self-esteem. So she's she she's gazing at this, but she's worried about herself right now. She ain't worried about him. So that answers your question. <laughs> you know.